I am Mrs. P. Tarleton. Welcome back. I'm glad you're here. As a teacher, I've been hoping and waiting for these Google Meets breakout rooms. I want to be able to have my students in small groups, but now that we're online, it's more challenging. This is the setup that I want, and I want it to work fluidly and easily. I have another video that shows you an option that I've created all of these rooms, but it's not as seamless as I would like. And thank you to Robert, I have found Google Meet breakout rooms. Let's dive in. First thing you want to do is head over to the Chrome Web Store and you look for Google Meet breakout room. You want to make sure you're getting this one here with the Be in the Lavender box, Google Meet breakout room. You're going to add it to your Chrome. It should show up here at the top. If not, click on your puzzle piece. All of your extensions are listed there. You want to pin it to your browser. Just click the pin. That way it's there because we're going to use that one probably a lot. This is what will pop up when you open it up. Next, I have to set it up. I'm going to go over here to course and you're going to have your course and you can add a course. I usually use the same rooms for all my classes so I don't have to add a course. But if you did, you teach different subjects, you want different courses to be listed, use this plus button and then you can get different courses. Go to your rooms. As you can see, the main room is there. I'm going to paste the link that my students have been using every day to join our class meeting. And in addition, I also want to add a few other breakout rooms for them to break into. If I don't add a URL, as soon as I save this, it will automatically create the URL for me. So I'm just typing in here, labeling my rooms. Go right here to the save. And notice it creates the links for you. You do not have to go create links, copy paste. It does that for you. So next let's go and take a look at our settings. In your settings, you have the option of how many tabs are open. If you want them to all be in the same window, you have a big giant screen. You can put them all in the same window. You can change the color. And here's some more options so for class. I wouldn't allow any outside emails to join, so I would not check that. But if you needed that, then you would check that. This is a nice option. It will automatically generate new links every single time. So now that we've got our room set up, I'm going to come over here, start class, choose your course if you have multiple courses. Choose how many breakout rooms you want to have. If you have a bunch listed, like sometimes you want 10 groups, sometimes you only want three or four groups. Depending on what you want, you can choose that here. I'm going to go ahead and have just two groups. And then you can open the main room, just the breakout rooms, or you can open both the main and the breakout room. I'm going to do both. So let's open them all into one tab. All my rooms are right here. This arrow here where it says main, I can just rotate through all of the rooms. So this is how I would rotate through all of the rooms. If you have your camera on, if you unmute your mic, you can mute your participants. So this right here is an easy way to rotate through all of your rooms. All my participants are unmuted. That's what this means. If I go here, this will unmute myself in room two. Notice it turns to a green box instead of the pink box. And if I turn on my camera, so I'm unmuted and my camera's on, it gives me the C to let me know that my camera's on in that room. I can go ahead and mute them. And that one will mute all of the students. Here I can unmute the students. There I'm unmuted so I can talk to them. This broadcast to all rooms will allow you to turn on your camera and appear in all the rooms. 
or you can just unmute the mic for all your breakout rooms. Notice the boxes turn green so that you know that you are now talking to all of the rooms at the same time. So now that we've got everything set up, we want to go to assign your breakouts. These are all the directions you're going to follow. You will see an assign button down here once there are people in this meeting. So once you have people in your Google Meet, you will have a randomize button here. You're going to click randomize. Then you're going to be able to sort your students. You just drag and drop your students. If you don't like these two students together, you can actually just physically drag them and drop them to another group. Then you're going to copy your students listed. You're going to paste that in the chat, copy your breakout assignments, paste that in the chat, and the students will join the rooms that they want. Because the system does not automatically pull them back, you will need to have someone keeping track of time or maybe just unmute your mic and tell everybody it's time to come back. Time's up. Go here and you can just let everybody know you can be the timekeeper. Time's up. Everybody come back to the main room. Students click on over to the main room. So this is the easiest way so far that I have found to do breakout rooms in Google Meets. Hope you found this helpful. Remember, step out, be uniquely wonderful you. Have a great day.